Where in the world do bed bugs come from? The number of reported cases of bed bugs in schools, hotels, motels, cruise ships, dormitories, shelters, homes, movie houses, and apartments, for that matter, are rising, and the authorities are somehow already alarmed and concerned over the issue. In the U.S. alone, it's reported that six out of ten apartments have bed bugs, because bed bugs are not known to transfer or spread out any form of disease. The alarm is somehow flamed out. Origins: Bed bugs are tiny, wingless creatures that are scientifically labeled. Cymex lectorlaris. They are very small that you can hardly look at them with your naked eye. But bed bugs are organisms that come from the world of insects. There are millions of species of insects, both small and large, and it's a wonder how each one of them has their own noteworthy attribute or characteristic. In the U.S. alone, there are stats and pest control authorities who claim that bed bugs ceased to exist after the World War II in the 1940s. However, before the World War, cases of bed bugs were so rampant. Because of, but people's cooperation and break, breakthroughs in controlling pests helped curtail bed bug infestation after the war. So people might be asking, if the bed bugs did not exist in the country during that time, where do our modern bed bugs come from? Good and logical question. Theories have it that modern day bed bugs might have come from Asia, Africa, or Europe. If bed bugs can only crawl, they are tiny, and with only one year of a lifespan, how did they cross the borders, though? Because bed bugs can thrive in furniture, clothes, and baggage, it is believed that American travelers during the time have contributed to the current spread of the pest. Several travelers might have traveled to one country and stayed in a hotel that was unknowingly infest infested, I should say, with bed bugs. The bed bugs might have figured out ways to get inside the luggage, and voila! Look at what happened. They travel across the borders with no problems. Races. There are various races of bed bugs. Bed bugs come from different countries. It's somehow amusing that, like humans, bed bugs also seem to have races. American bugs are usually pale compared to counterparts in Africa, where bed bugs are usually colored deep brown. Don't apply racial discrimination, however, in tracing where bed bugs come from. Vampires. There is a myth that bed bugs are undeveloped grandchildren of vampires. What a crazy, crazy myth. The notion might have come from the fact that bed bugs, like Dracula and all other vampire characters we know, suck blood for nourishment. When they do that, their appearances are also somehow changed. And hence, for that matter, newly fed bed bugs will appear dark red or reddish in color. Some bed bugs even appear like black mass inside their stomach, like they have that in their stomach. And if the idea is just a stupid myth, where do bed bugs actually come from? Where do bed bugs come from? The question, where do bed bugs come from, is just like the question, where do people come from? Questions on origins do solicit and prompt strong amusements among different people. Science has their answer, and there are ways in determining and finding out where organisms come from. But in the bed bugs case, you know that the subject does not evoke a particular need for an answer. There are much more better and more relevant su such subjects, I should say, that deserve more attention in tracing down or determining where bed bugs come from. One of those concerns, though, still related to bed bugs, is how to get rid or control the bed bugs. Bed bugs might come from Alaska, Antarctica, or Samoa. Who's going to care where they come from, by the way? The main issue, the more important issue to deal with, is how to effectively deal with these bugs and curtail their spread. You know that use of pesticides and insecticides is one sure option, but you may also want to figure out and think back to how safe they are to you, your family, and even your neighbors. The next time you see another bed bug crawling in your bed, isn't it a better question to ask, how can I kill this bed bug, instead of asking, where do bed bugs come from?